thank you very much again. Mm -hmm. um, today, as yesterday was the World Tobacco Day, mm -hmm. and we know the impact of tobacco and how it is developing. Mm -hmm. um, one thing has to be clear is that there is no tobacco industry in Africa. Okay. But Africa is one of the continents that consume tobacco more. Yeah. All the tobacco industry, they are only in the United States in America. We don't even have them in China. China, some of their representatives are shareholders of the company, but we do not even have it in China. Mm -hmm. But um, we consume it more than them. And we all know, you know the effects. Because according to the World Health Records, mm -hmm. um, in 2015 and 2016, alongside 2016, um, 9 million people die from secondhand smoking. Wow. So what is the tendency of people that are already smoking? Mm -hmm. Can we assume how many people will die because of smoking? Mm -hmm. And can we allow our youths to be, to, 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 be, to be swallowed by smoking. Excuse me, Omar, are you saying that smoking most of the time affects, like, let's say we are neighbors yes. and you're smoking, it's going to affect me more than how it affects yeah, yeah, by yeah, records, yeah, but, yeah, mm -hmm. by records, those that die because of smoking, those that pass away because of smoking, there are nine millions wow. worldwide. That's, that's a lot. So mm -hmm. that is why the Gambia, um, it is the responsibility of the state to make sure that people are protected. It's like we indirectly smoking. Exactly, indirect, yeah, secondhand oh, smoking. Okay. And also, uh, Omar, I would really like you to go on and into discussing the regulations that are surrounding uh, the smoking of tobacco. Because I see, even when I was young, some of my uncles that knew how they did it, they did it, they did it, and I heard that this is not right. What do you mean? They did it, they did it, they So what do you have to say yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know. Wow, I think um, the government then have very good steps. Um, before the importation, there is a step that they did. Like for instance, when they want to control tobacco in the Gambia, the first step, step that the government did was to sign a memorandum of understanding with the operating um, tobacco control industry. Because tobacco is legal. You cannot stop it from being into a country. But one of the agreements was to see that there will be, an, uh, uh, there will be a warning that will be put that smoking is killing. Mm -hmm. That was one of the first steps that the government of the Gambia did. Mm -hmm. And when you import it to the Gambia, before, um, you, are, you pay it in a container form. But now you pay it in packets. In pa Tax. Oh, interesting. Tax. Um, in 2017, when we have say, um, the, the, the um, Adam Barros government, before they earned 250 million tax from tobacco alone. But right now, as I'm speaking to you, they earn more than 350 million. So almost 100 million have been added because of the tax. And now we have less people that sell cigarettes in Gambia. Away from that also, they have what they call the Tobacco Control Act. Before they have regulations, there will be time with, in with the Minister of Health, we just come with a regulation to say uh, no smoking in public, yeah, you know, gathering, public office, or public places. Mm -hmm. But now we have what we call the Tobacco Control Act and the Regulation Act. The Tobacco Control Act of 2016 and the Regulation Act of 2017. Mm -hmm. Now, under the Tobacco Control Act, minors are, are, are well represented because it is in law that a minor cannot enter into a contract unless he is entering into a contract, yeah. with, of, uh, a contract of necessity. Meaning, if you did not get that part of the contract, perhaps you will lose your life. Like, for instance, buying food stuff. Yeah. A minor can do so. Mm -hmm. But all the other stuff, like buying food or buying cigarette or any other form, um, the law is saying you cannot send a minor to a shop. But the law has equally Thank imposed. You. Exactly, thank you. Yeah. I think this is something that you viewers should really like look into because there are so many people out there that are sending minors to go and buy cigarettes and that's not right. No one can even work on it. I'm going to tell you what's my guy and you have to tell you what's my guy. Because it's not that you can do what you can do important. Pour <coughs> 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 <coughs>
good, very good point. No, 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 uh, no, no, the no, parents no, no, should no, stop no. sending their kids yes. to the shop to yeah, buy yeah, cigarettes. But this one is a Majina elik, majina gana elik. Nama awak ni lu bah lah. Kamu mau try? Try for a while. Masih belum ada. So we should really talk to the government. No, the, 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 the government, they did not impose that duty. That duty is imposed by common law to make sure the youth are being protected, especially the minors. Yeah, but well, the government, the government, the government, well, government yeah. of the government, don't have money. The shop owners, mm -hmm. they are asked not to display any of the product of cigarette in their shop, and they should not also sell. In, in, in small sticks, there's a sell in packet. Oh, so as they condition, are doing that. They are yeah, doing they that. are doing that. But yeah. the problem is enforcement. Exactly, that's yeah, another issue. Is like we bring enforcement. all these laws, but we do not enforce exactly. them or implement them. So I think this is a very, very important issue. We have that. very good laws in Gambia, exactly. but exactly. implementation is always a problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But the problem is is very simple. Is that people uh, those that should have implement the law are most of the time the breakers of the law. You rush to a police station, you meet an inspector smoking. Period. And the police station is a public office. Yep, exactly. And the enforcement of the law uh, have to do with, normally everyone has to enforce the law, but the police is a key priority. Uh -huh. <laughs> it has to take uh, force for it to be implemented. Nyundal Gambia, like she said, we have a lot of good laws, but we are not implementing it. We are not enforcing it. And if we do that, we will go a long way because now we have people that are educated on that yeah. and they will work on that to try to improve the situation mm -hmm. in the Gambia. So, viewers, I think this is a very important topic that was brought to us by Omar. Omar, thank you very much for bringing and this. Thank you. I hope such a topic will continue in our ballot power. Most definitely, yeah. yes. This is something that we need to discuss in depth and yeah. it will definitely be. Man, program will be more than that. Haha, you see, you see, you see. Wow, you understand that English. Yeah. So definitely, guys, uh, we'll continue this on our social media platforms. Stay tuned for the next section.